So, yeah, I spoke to Noah. I spoke to Noah already. Is he your friend? Yeah, yeah, we're good friends. Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Noah last time. You know, so what I'm saying to you, Noah listens as well. My point here, bro, when you look at Allah describing himself in the Quran in a perfect way, when you look how the, the, the Bible describes God, God regrets. Doesn't make any sense. God, he, uh, he was worried because people spoke same language and they were building tall towers. Doesn't make any sense. God commits suicide because he loves us. He had to kill himself because he created us with the sins. Doesn't make any sense, bro. Bro, utilize your sound reasoning, man. My question to you, why Christianity is dying? Huh? It's not dying in Saudi Arabia. It's not dying in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, because there's no Christianity there. It's growing in Saudi Arabia. Huh? It's growing in Saudi Arabia. No, no, no. It's growing where? In Saudi Arabia? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, that's true, you know. You know what he said? You know where you found it? Do you know where? www.keepdreaming.com That's a website. That's right. Like Eastern... Algeria, they celebrate anything. But they're not Christians. Like in Britain, some of them celebrate there's, there's, there's Christians in Algeria, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. There's a few of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, you guys go way back, you know. Yeah, of one course. One of the church fathers was uh, Berber, right? Amazigh. Yeah, no problem. I mean, before he was a pagan as well, so I don't care. Why well, I care about Islam? My, my, my forefathers sounded like pagans. I don't care about them. I care about Islam. Because if you want to go back to your forefather, you should go back to who? Adam. Adam. What was he, Adam? Christian? Monotheist. Allah Akbar. That's why we are here. He was a monotheist, Muslim, Wahid. You see, if you want to go back to your forefather, Jesus was a Christian. Adam, Jesus, exists. Forget, put Adam aside. Adam. Moses, they had no clue who Jesus is. I'm talking about as God. Of course, Moses did prophesize about Jesus. I believe that as a Muslim. But I believe he prophesied about Muhammad too. And more. You understand, bro? Why churches are empty? When you go to Saudi Arabia Friday, the mosques are full. Forget Saudi in Britain, the message are full. So if you go to a church in like the Philippines, it's going to be full. Even Philippine Islam growing there, you know. <laughs> Philippine, you know, you know Filipino. How Christianity came to Philippines? By force. Of course, but there were Muslims. There were Muslims. Yeah, there were Muslims before that. Yeah, there were Muslims. The Portuguese, the Spanish, the Portuguese came and killed them and forced Christianity on them. In the yeah, in the Philippines, it was Islam. Yeah, study history. And they said Islam spread the, by the sword. They for the Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you came and killed the Muslims and forced them to become Christians. Then the Christians have a gut. The gut to tell us we spread Islam by sword. Christianity was spread by sword. How Christianity came to Africa? By sword. It's not even sold that time by gun. It's how you came to Nigeria and many countries. How you came to America. How Christianity came to America. To Caribbean. Huh? Uh, uh, say it louder, louder. For the Caribbeans to hear you. Tell them how Christianity came to them. How? Huh? Huh? Lots of people. Missionaries. Missionaries came uh, with flowers. <laughs> no, no, no. Kids, so, so, all the, so over 250 million uh, Native Americans and Caribbeans were killed because missionaries told them, uh, uh, you're Christian, so they, they killed themselves. Yeah, there were also a ton of Christians who were slaughtered by Native Americans. So uh, they, uh, they have a right to kill you. Well, if you come to my country and I kill you, I have a right to kill you. So the Native Americans had the right to kill you. Were they really in a better place before when they were like slaughtered? Oh, oh, well, okay, so, so now if, okay, so I'm going to bring you a good place yeah. by killing you and raping you, your mother. Look, this, you know what? You, 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 you have a slave master. You have a slave master mindset. You're trying to justify slavery and the killing of innocent people in America. That feels like a projection. Huh? That feels like a projection. No? So you're saying to me, were they in a better place? That's what he said. Were they in a better place? What's that what you're doing? Yeah. What is that to do that? I didn't know that you liked that, bro. I spoke to you last time. You were a good person. What happened to you? Were you sitting with Bob? How on earth have you just justified? The killing of uh, innocent people in America, in Canada. Go to Australia. I said at any point that, that was good. Okay, and my question to you is known. Uh, Christianity were, came to Australia, Canada, America, uh, South, um, uh, South America, Caribbean, by slavery and killing and raping. It was Muslims who 
Turks to Europeans in the times like No, no, that was the Muslims killed. No, no, let me help you. It was the Muslims who caused the World War II. And the Muslims caused the World War I. And the Muslims were around in Britain. And the Muslims, bro, if you study history, the Muslims were, Muslim countries, a lot of them were invaded by Europeans. That time. Africa wasn't. Like the just came before, before you go to Africa, you try to justify the killing of people, you understand? I didn't try to justify okay, so when you said, the brother heard you and you're on the camera. You said, when I said to you, they were killed. And you said, were they, were they in a better place before? What has to do with it? If they were in a better place or not, maybe they're happy the way they live in. No, but you understand it, yeah. Happy. Because why? Doesn't mean because I've, uh, to them maybe living in a, a, a with the nature. Happy, they were happy in Mecca, can slaughter their own children to sacrifice to demons before like Muhammad. Like, wait, 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 wait. So, so you saying? So you say they were killing their children? Land. He was in his own land. He was in his land first, anyway. So that's it. My question: How Christianity came to you, to America? How did it come? Huh? We came over on ships. With what slavery, brother? The first boat that departed from. In Jesus to come and enslave the Africans to force them. You understand? Huh? Say again. Pseudo history. Pseudo history. Fake history. Study, study, study. Study. I mean, you know to teach us history. You know to lie to us at Christopher Columbus. He was going to India and he discovered America. Biggest lie. And it was historians. He had something to say, by the way, in him. Mas'udi mentioned and Mas'udi mentioned America way before Ibn Jubair, one of the scholars of Andalusia, mentioned America way before Christopher Columbus. And he telling us that yes, Christopher Columbus was going to India and he discovered America. How is going to huh? five hundred years before? How is going to discover something already we know exists? Come on, man, bro, we know who speaks of fake history. I tell you about fake history. 1948. I don't like what I speak of. Uh, let me. I'm not blaming you, by the way, but I want to show you. 1948, when America and France and Britain and Belgium, they were and the British and the Be Belgium, they were celebrating the victory over uh, Hitler. At the same year, the French were committing swear, uh, genocide in Algeria. What date was this? 1948 in May. Check it out. 1948. Yes, I know. Everyone knows. 1948, bro, and 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 and, and Britain were uh, they, they, they were killing other people in other countries. So how on earth you are defending Jewish people because they've been killed by Hitler, which is good, help the oppressed one, but at the same time you kill innocent people in, the, in another place. Come on, bro. I'm not blaming you, by the way, but I'm showing you that look at the history of these people, you know. So anyway, we went to the history, and I saw the history. Alhamdulillah, very well. Alhamdulillah, you understand. So my point here is, let me bring you back to Adam. What was Adam? A Muslim. He watched God alone. Abraham was a Muslim. Moses was a Muslim. And you should become a Muslim. That's the solution. To worship God alone, according to the church of Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> why, so why, why would you... <laughs> <laughs> why are you pointing him on the spot? It's about... You. It's about you, you're gonna be himself. He's gonna be in the grave by himself. I'm gonna be in the grave by myself. It's about you. Tell me, okay, if I if someone ask you why Christianity is the truth, tell me. Because Jesus died for our sins. Like Brother, I, I know someone killed himself for his mother. That it means it, 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 it's the truth? What's that? There's no argument. Someone killed himself for someone else doesn't mean it's the truth. What argument is this, you see? If you, when you ask Muslim what Islam is the truth, can give you thousands of proofs, tangible proofs. One of them in the Quran, Allah mentioned, Allah will make Islam spread out, even if disbelievers dislike it. Now we know the fast growing religion on the face of the earth is Islam. Allah mentioned that in the Quran 1,400 years ago. Prophet Muhammad said it will come a time with interest, you know interest usually, will become widespread. Even if you're not involved directly, it will affect you. By default now, if you open a bank account, you, your money has been used for interest. How a man that existed 1,400 years ago was able to prophesize about something, not randomly, specifically, detailed, spe uh, precisely. One of the, the Prophet Muhammad's prophecies, huh? Big brain. Again? Big brain. Big brain. Big brain. 
Anyway, tell, I'm speaking to you, this guy. Africa. The sun, the, the sun is hitting him, skin. I think the sun is too much for you. Don't go to Africa because the sun will kill you. If the sun is hitting you too much, don't go to Algeria or Morocco. You know, you're going to be... So why are we saying to all the Philippines that you have hot the weather there as well? Eh? I'm not Filipino. I, uh, from my way, where are you from? I'm, Fili I'm Philippines, yeah, yeah, just a Philippine. You're from Taiwan? Taiwan. China yeah. coming come after you. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't well, <laughs> you look like them anyway. They can't, I don't know how they're going to kill you. I'm joking. Well, I say, look, you know the Chinese and Taiwan, they look like it. Yeah. Like Algerian yeah, Africans. Taiwan is different. My, Serious, I, yeah? My dad is native. Indigenous ah. China came. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're, we're different, you know. Different, okay, yeah. okay. So anyway, my point here, what I would say to you, when you look to Islam, we believe Islam is true because we can prove it. Christianity, you cannot prove it. That's why law of Christian in, the, in Britain, there's a study they do every 10 years, and they, yeah, yeah, Christianity is declining, yeah, and Islam is inclining. Islam is inclining, Allah Akbar. Alhamdulillah. You know, a lot of people revert to Islam because of uh, different motivations. You know, they want to get married quick and stuff. Brother, you can get married without Islam, bro. No, you... it's quite hard. No, no, in Islam, if you want to get married, there's a lot of responsibility, trust me, man. It's not a joke. You understand? And maybe, but after they, now, like some people, maybe we become Muslim because we need to brotherhood. But after when we study about Islam, it makes sense to him. No doubt, I'm, I'm only dying, denying that. I remember there is a, a, a brother became Muslim because he wants to get married to a, a Muslim woman. But Alhamdulillah, after, he said, Alhamdulillah, that's the best decision I made. Even he, he, he divorced the woman, everything. He said, I'm still Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Uh, what is stopping okay. you from becoming Muslim? So who's, who's, the, who's the best examples of mankind ever, right now? Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu salam. Like, if I, ask, if I ask you, how Jesus dealt with his children? He doesn't have no children. So as a man, I have children. Jesus is not my example. If I want to know how to deal with my wives, Jesus never had wives. How can I deal with wives? If I want to deal with the people in the war, Jesus never had war. I don't know how to deal with the war. Understand? If I want to, what is the best way to, 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 to eat, to drink, to do things? Prophet Muhammad explained all of that to us. Without the great in Jesus, you know? Jesus, no doubt, is on a high level. No doubt, our, he's a messenger of Allah, mighty messenger. He's the Christ, you know, the Messiah, no doubt. But we're talking as the best example. That's why when Jesus returns, we'll follow Prophet Muhammad, like even about the marriage, you know about Aisha's marriage, Prophet got married to women different ages. And that's the best example because why? In Taiwan, in Algeria, in Morocco, in Nigeria, in Seleucia, in Barbados, you know, Caribbean, Jamaican, other countries, they get married different ages. You understand? So this age of marriage has to be 18. That has nothing to do with worldwide. That is a British culture. It's not British culture, by the way, because British, they used to get married at the age very, very young. Like for example, Richard II, he got married to Isabella when she was six years old. It's known, historically speaking, like in France, in Belgium. But now they changed it. Why? Because back in those days, I, I, let me make something clear to you. you do you know about something called uh, presentism? Presentism means you try to judge the people of the past by using the criteria of our time. That's the wrong way. Yeah. You know, for example, uh, 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 looking at the age of marriage, how people used to get married. Like, for example, I cannot tell the Americans or the British, you're wrong. Why? Because in Algeria, our culture is different. That's your culture. You can use your culture to judge. If it's from God, yes. God is the criteria. You understand? So, Prophet Buha, you know, in history, we don't know about no one in details like Prophet Muhammad. It's crazy, isn't it? You know, we don't know, how, we, knew, we know how he walks in, how he walks out, how he spoke to his family, and what he used to clean his teeth, everything. His companions, they were very, uh, what do they call it? Not cautious, the word I'm looking for. They were, very, they were eager to teach us about the small things, let alone about the big things. If they, they were doing their best to, to preserve the small teaching of the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, what about the big things? Yeah, that's why if you want to become Muslim, if you want to become Muslim, worship, if you want to become Muslim and worship Allah correctly, follow the teaching of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. The verse. Become a Muslim. Yeah. What's your name again? Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, become Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Be servant of Allah. Don't be servant of desires. Don't be the servant of your desires. Servant of Allah. We Abu Dullah will let you be shit and worship Allah alone.
I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah, I'll think about it. There's still many questions. Yeah, I can ask. What question do you have? Ask, no problem. That's what we're here for, to answer questions. If we know, we know. If we don't know, we don't know. I don't know everything. I'm not a scholar. There's a few, there's a few ex-Muslims in this park. Very few. But So, what are your regards to them? What, what do you say to them? I don't know. Firstly, there is a guy who claims to be ex-Muslim. I spoke to him. I asked him. I said, if we left Islam, were you well educated? He said, yes. I said to him, read Surah Fatiha. He didn't know it. So, he's lying. But I'm not... Huh? That's like the equivalent of the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. Recite, yeah. 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 Prayer the Lord's Prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially if you claim you're a practicing Christian. You understand? But I'm not negating that some people who leave Islam. I don't negate that. You understand that? But I bring them, tell them why you left Islam. Like, oh, there's a guy, he, he was a Christian. He said to me, I left Islam and I'm a Christian. I said, tell me why you left Islam. And make sure the reason you left Islam is not in the Bible. He said, oh, Muslim kill. I said, Muslim don't kill. Muslims fight and defend themselves, and that's it. But if you talk about killing, in the Bible, they kill babies and children and women. So why are you Christian? You know about it in Samuel, innit? Do you know about Samuel? Do you know about it? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Do you know why? Because they were, they were pagans, they were worshipping. How babies worship? Baby no one. They were the children of pagans. And they, yeah, yeah but it was God's way of just purifying the land, you know? Like, they didn't want to raise any, like, uh, children of, that belong to pagans, so it was God's way of, through, through the Israelites to just get rid of the land. So that's what I'm saying, so now if people start killing babies, and they say because God told us that children of the pagans, you cannot refute them, because your God already did it. So there's no problem God doing it again, but we say in the Quran, I know Allah told us, No one should be responsible for no one's sins. If the father is pagan, what has to do with it? Understand? That's why Prophet Muhammad in the war, in the war, he said, don't kill women. The women of who? The women of the pagans. Don't kill children. The children of who? The children of the pagans. But you have the Bible, kill the children of the pagans. That's what I've respect, yeah? I believe ISIS, they were practicing the Bible. Seriously. Wallahi. Wallahi, yaqi. Wallahi, I'm joking. It's funny, but you know, we're not allowed to kill children. In Islam, we're not allowed to kill women. How on earth you come into Britain, you come with a visa, or you have a contract with them, even if you have no contract, you go to the train and you uh, uh, explode a bomb and you say it's Islam. It's not Islam, it's haram. <coughs> you understand? But in Christianity, you're allowed to kill children. And according to the Bible, kill babies and children. So uh, what I'm saying that... I mean, I don't know what anyone in my parish is murdering. Say again? I don't know what anyone in my parish is just murdered a child. Your book says it. Your book says it, yeah, so you're not following the book. <laughs> so uh, if you don't do it, doesn't mean it's not there, isn't it? The way he expresses it, he says go and murder people. And he says kill babies and children. It was, uh, in the Bible, he says my the point. Bible tells me to go and God murder the prophet to, to do that, yeah. After they won the battle. Right. So it's he a specific. Yeah, but we need to No, 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 no. There's reason because they were pagans. So if there's pagan children, they should kill them. It wasn't just blatantly saying. To be honest, that was one of the reason. But <laughs> to be honest, none of you know the other reason. And that's nothing to do with paganism. The other reason in Samuel is not because they were pagans. The reason is, you can, he mentioned it clearly. He says, God spoke to Samuel. And Samuel said to Saul, God has anointed you king over his people, Israel. Israel. Now he, hear the, the voice of the Lord, or the words of the Lord. Go and attack Malak. Malak the Malachite, the Arabs. That's why the Zionists killing the Muslims in, in, uh, in Palestine. Because they're following that, yeah. So? Yeah, the Malachite. Because he said, go to kill the Malachite. Why? Because they embused the, they embused the, the, the Jacob. So this Malachite, children of the Malachite, who God told Samuel to say to Saul to go kill them, the gap between them and, and, and their ancestors, who did the crime to Jacob 400 years. Imagine, I said, imagine now the Jewish people go to German and they start killing the German children. And we say, why are you doing that? They say, because Hitler used to kill our parents. He said, no, that's, that's injustice. So imagine a gap of 400 years. Imagine God and say, kill that baby because something happened 400 years ago. Come on, man. Are you, no, I think, I'm pretty sure within 400 years, the paganism was still practiced. They were still killing babies. No, they're saying the reason, no, it's not because it's killing babies. The reason because the Malachite embused Jacob. Come on, man, he says it. He says it. So they may still have eaten pagans, but God wasn't saying to kill them because they're pagans. No, because they embused Jacob. 
It's a Samuel, bro. Samuel. Either way, you know, the point that people complain about Muslims killing whatever, which they don't, but in the Bible... No, we do kill if it's needed. Yeah, of course. You know it's no, I mean, no problem. The they we don't kill unjustly, yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we don't kill unjustly, no doubt. So you have clear injust commands to kill. To people. kill, yes. Yes, Barakallah, yeah. yeah. Yes, unjustly to... Yeah. Glass houses and stones. Yeah, the Christians, they, they should not for no even tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Outside. Yeah, so, so that doesn't make any sense, bro. What other questions you have? There is a lot of misconceptions about Christianity in this part. No, no, no misconceptions about truth, truth. Most of the Christians here are like born again Christians, so they're not actually Christians. Oh, you're not born again? No. You're Catholic? Catholic. They, they, they believe you're not Christian? Yeah, I know. One of them believes that Chris, like the Catholic Church invented Islam. Ah, please. He, 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 must, he, must, he must talk a lot of wine. He must talk a lot of wine. You know, the blood of I Jesus. Said. I'm That's saying, right. It's a Quran big time, Akhi. It's a Quran. Huh? A lot of the Christians here speak Islam, aren't even Christian. So what are you doing with the church business, man? With this uh, pedophilia in the church and the fathers, you know, playing with the children, with the yeah, boys. I don't, I don't know what, what's going on. What's going on with the church? That's why, maybe that's why this born Christian again, they don't trust the church anymore. Because of that. Like you see what happened in France, over 250 children. They were tortured or sexually abused by uh, the, the, the Christian priest in the church. There's a lot, there's a lot That's of issues mad. going on with the church and it's, it's mainly the actual people at the top. It's not actually practicing Christians. No, I don't blame you. A lot of Christians at the bottom, everyday laity, like all Christians, are fed up with the church and how it is at the moment. Of course, and I'll mention that about them anyway. They take people's money unjustly. Like even for, for God to forgive you, you have to expose yourself to the priest. <coughs> Islam, you have to expose yourself to no one. If you commit sin, raise your hand. Say, oh Allah, you are the, the most forgiven. Forgive I mean, there's me. There's a beneficial element to that, bro. Because when, when you go up <laughs> and you pray and you ask forgiveness from God, you don't get someone telling you what penance to do. That's a big part of the reason why we go to confession. It's because there's an interaction. So the Bible doesn't tell you what to do? It does. But the so you don't need the, the, the priest? The Bible doesn't give us penance specifically. So, like, say, so would they go to penance? Say that I've stolen something. Yeah. Right? On the one hand, a born again Christian, a Muslim will go, pray, pray to God, ask forgiveness. There's no back and forth with that. Whereas if they go to a priest who's representative of God and who's letting God run through them, they can say, oh, you stole this. Oh, and they, they give advice and they talk it through. And there's, there's a back and forth element to it. And Is that in the Bible? They absolve you of your sins and then they tell you to make penance. Is that in the Bible? Extent, yeah, the, the apostles were given authority to forgive the sins. Yeah, but so, so the G, G in the Bible tells you what to do. It doesn't tell you to go to priest and expose yourself to the priest. No, but... Halas, well, when Jesus said well, pray to God, so born again a Christian there... Jesus came before the Bible. Jesus came before the church. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. So is that... Okay, so the church... He didn't appoint someone to write a book. <laughs> I, I agree with that 100%. But the church fathers, yeah, who you call them, yes. And now these Christians, they differ about them. That's my point. What do you differ about them? About the church fathers, yeah, the born again Christian, would they accept your church yeah, father? Well, that's why we don't listen to them. Yeah, that's why, that's why I come to Islam anyway. To be honest, the, the worst sin that you're committing when you pray to Jesus and Mary. Shirk Billah is the worst sin. Pray to God alone. What's Shirk Billah? Shirk Billah when you associate partners in worship to with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, I told you why Shirk is the worst sin. Because the Shirk, you are belittling Allah. How? you saying to Allah, this something which is exclusively for you, but I believe you should not have it. Let me give it to human beings yeah, or to any creature. The Jews worship Rachel's tomb, right? That's right. Jewish, yeah, if you go for a Jewish. Jewish people, in the Bible, Jeremiah said to Jewish people, you change the law. <coughs> Jeremiah 8 8. <coughs> in the Bible, God said to Jewish people, you are pagans. You change the law, you start worshiping false gods. You for Jewish people, not me. Yeah, they did back and forth between worshipping balance. Would, right, would the Jewish people back and forth into paganism? Would the Jewish people go to hellfire? According to the church? Yeah. yeah. They go to join to hellfire. And according to a born again Christian? You don't know? I don't, I don't know. Ah, okay. Depends uh, who you ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, and you know one thing as well. You know, you know one thing about Islam as well. Islam is not a need of the Old Testament to prove Islam is the truth. Christianity without the Old Testament. Islam is not in need of any outside religion to prove Islam. 
Like if you take the Old Testament away, Christianity has I mean, finished. I mean, is, is the Old Testament not a testament to? If there's a problem, Old Testament linking to the New Testament, <coughs> is not, does that not hold weight to the truth in the New Testament? No, I'm not saying that. There is no doubt. No, I'm not. Uh, show me Jesus' name in the Old Testament. That's, that's, you don't even drink no, it. No, what should I say? What should I say? <laughs> Pretending drinking. No, I'm thinking like that's not really. But is that his name for Jesus of the Old Testament? Yeah, it doesn't say that. Also, also no, you, you. That doesn't mean he's not prophesied. But it's not. There's many passages in the Bible in the New Testament, it prophecy, which is not true. I'll give you an example. And I made a video about it years back. Uh, we're, we're, you know about is in the <coughs> there's Matthew yeah it's Matthew uh, what is it uh, I'm trying to get remember the quote <coughs> oh, like, I so Matthew caught a passage from the Old Testament claiming that it's for Jesus when you go back to the court itself, it's clearly speaking about something else. But I'm trying to... So this is a, this is a Christian brand. That's actually... I'm asking, do you think it is? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to try to remember here. Because I did it once, but... Like, so there's many, many passages, it's known, it's known. But I forgot it because I haven't revised it, but I will check it for you. Ah, here, here we go. Here, here we go. Oh, that's you? Yeah, yeah, I made a video about it two years back or three years back. So I haven't revised it, so I want to check it. It was Matthew. Yeah. Let me go back. Chapter 2. Yeah, chapter 2. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Passage, passage 15. Chapter 2, passage 15. Watch this, Echoya. Yeah? How Matthew is misquoting a passage from the Old Testament, making a claim that is a prophecy. What we said, passage 2, 15, yeah. Chapter 2, passage 15. That's it. What, what was it? Okay. That it might be fulfilled which the Lord out of Egypt I have called my son. So it's making like a prophecy, yeah? Okay. Passage. Huh? Do you know where is it? Where is it? Yeah, where is it? Where is where you Matthew 2. No, 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 no. Okay, let me get. Matthew is saying, look. That, uh, so look, look. That Matthew is saying. Oh, is that, what it's referring to? Yeah, what is it referring to? Okay. I'll, yeah, I'm going to. So he's speaking about when, he, when, when Jesus went to Egypt, yeah? And he's making it as a prophecy. Yeah, that's not a prophecy. <laughs> why, why is not? But, he's, talking, but referring, he says the prophecies. He's referring to, to Israel, is this one? That's... He's misquoting. I'm speak on behalf of them. Like yeah, so how can you trust him? The prophet, that, that's, not, that's not an example that I'm making for prophecy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if, you, if he was inspired by God, inspired by God, he's lying. So how can we trust Matthew if he's clearly misquoting what is in Hosea? In Hosea, clearly speaking about Israel.
It's not prophecy. But because he mentioned God took Israel. He said that is a prophecy about Jesus to go to Egypt. It's referring to Brokers and Exodus, they came out of Egypt. And there was the flight there was the flight of, of the Holy Family to Egypt because of Herod killing the Holy Innocents, right? No, this has not fled to Egypt during This is about Jesus, yeah. Points to be killed. He fled away to Egypt, the same as Joseph took the Israelites to Egypt. No, it's not, it's not. No, it's a pro prophecy means so it's a prophecy. No, not prophecy, but it's he said, read, 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 to be fulfilled. So something is being said and it's fulfilling it. There was nothing said as uh, something in the future. Rather, I speak in those people, the Israel will go to rebuke them because that's our worship in false God. Making an association between the begotten son and the son which is. Look, he, first he said, I don't know. It, it, it's not prophecy. Now he tried to justify it. No, I just didn't get it before. Yeah, but no, no, no. even the, the Christian scribes would tell you that's misquoted. He said it's a prophecy being fulfilled, but it's not prophecy. Because let us go back to the original one. Well, it doesn't say prophecy, it just says that it might be fulfilled. Yeah, what? Okay, read it. Uh, be it's honest. Scripture. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, no, no. What it says? That it might be. Yeah. Go on. That it might be fulfilled, which the Lord spoke by the prophet, saying out of Egypt. He has nothing to do with the Lord speaking to the prophet. Nothing to be fulfilled there. God is saying, I took this man out of Egypt. He's speaking about something that's happening now. There's no something that's going to happen in the future. There's many, many. Yeah, Do you know why? <coughs> Even what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Paul. <coughs> Paul misquote as well. Many, many passages, been many so-called prophecies in the New Testament. When you go back to the Old Testament, either is not there. That's why, that's why one of the Christian scholars in the earliest time, when he was debating with the Jewish rabbi, he said there's many prophecies been mentioned. But when we in our New Testament, when we go back, the Old Testament is not there. What does that mean? The Old Testament has been corrupted as well. Or the New Testament is lying. So what proves to us? What well, Prophet Muhammad mentioned in the Quran is true. That the Christians and the Jews share the scripture. How a man that existed 1,400 years ago, he had no access. Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm consulting him. What is it? You're going to fight boxing? What? What's that? What's that? If this, is, if this is a debate, I don't want to have it because if it's what? I'm not informed enough to have a debate. Ah, no problem. It's check it. It's not debate. Session. Check it. Anyway, check it. I'll tell you, uh, double check it at home. And there's many, well, like, there's many passages. Check, check about the uh, passage that's been misquoted by the, uh, the, the rights of the Bible. There's many. I gave you one example. And there's many. And so I said that that's not talking about a prophecy. Yeah, you go back. It has nothing to do. quoting something that was said by a prophet. No, I'll tell you which one. Let's go back to the... Because uh, it doesn't say it there. Let me go back to, oh, it's in Hosea, yeah? Hosea 2. Go Hosea. Hosea. Yeah. He's not even caught in the passage, yeah? Eleven one. Go to Hosea eleven one. Yeah, watch this. Go to Hosea eleven one. What's the time? Yeah, we have to go. Hosea eleven one. Mm. What language is that? Yeah. It's Latin. Oh, okay. I feel like some East. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's from the Vulgate, which oh, okay. is written in 382. Oh, okay. So the, the, the Bible that we follow as Catholics is the Dewey Reeves version, yeah, okay. which, which is transliterated from the Vulgate, which is translated from the original manuscripts in the Hebrew and Greek. There's no original manuscript anyway. There's no. Yeah, but that was in 382. There's no... Uh, there's, uh, listen, listen. 382 <laughs> uh, uh, AC, after Christ. Yeah. That's not original because 382 is there's a big gap, there's 200 years gap between the, the, the original writers and the, 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 the manuscript. Yeah, anyway, people, people didn't, don't like not everybody knows Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic. Yeah, this is how it goes. So it's 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 Latin. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you're missing the point. Anyway, go go to the okay, let, let me read it for people. Yeah, yeah, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. 
the spirit of wisdom. Okay, what was this? Huh? This was Isaiah. Isaiah yeah. what, which one? Isaiah chapter 11. Oh, chapter 11. Chapter 11. Oh, you said 11. Yeah, yeah I said chapter 11. Said 11 more. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, okay, okay, okay. And shall be forth and the root out of the roots of of Jesus and the flower shall raise up his roots and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of knowledge okay and he shall be filled with the spirit of the fear of the Lord shall not judge according to the sight shall judge the poor and justice where is the one I don't know No, no, wait, let me check again. That's not the one. Because he's speaking about when Israel, when, when the Lord took Israel from Egypt in Hosea. Isaiah. No, 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 you mentioned Isaiah. Hosea, Hosea, Hosea. Hosea. Yeah. Isaiah. No, let's say Isaiah. It's Hosea. Hosea. It's my word, Hosea. Okay, Isaiah. Oh, Hosea, brother. Hosea, Hosea, 11th one. Please. Hosea. Hosea, 11th one, yeah? There we go. That rings a bell. Okay, 11th one, yeah? As the morning passed, so the king of Israel passed away because Israel was a child and I loved him and I called my son out of Egypt. As they called them, they went away before their face. Um, they went away before their face. They offered the victim to Balaam and sacrificed idols. So here, the Israel, they were sacrificing the to, to, to the bow. To, uh, so he's speaking about Israel who is doing even uh, paganism. He has nothing to do with Jesus. But Matthew. No, that's the bit before that. Yeah, read it. Before that, read it. I called my son out of Egypt. Who's that son? As the morning passed, so the king of Israel passed away because Israel was a child. And I loved him and I called yeah. my son out of Egypt. Yeah. As they called them, they went away before. So he's speaking about Israel here. Yeah. Yeah, it must be like Jesus. The gospel, why can't it be talking about both? Because clearly the it's passage here. Comparison between referring to it's misquoting because the context is speaking about the Israel who went out of Egypt and they started worshiping, worshiping Baal. It's not a prophecy. No, it's not a yeah. prophecy. But it's referred to it as a prophecy. It doesn't say that it's a yeah. prophecy, it's just saying that it's quoting a prophet. No, it's making a comparison to between what we've said that's and what we've said. No, no, not class, not sincerity. No, no, to be honest, if it says so that that statement can be fulfilled, it implies the statement is yeah. a yeah. prophecy. It's not, brother, it's not. Even the Christians it's say that. It's a Yeah, it clearly that he misquoted him because why? He said yeah, yeah, to be fulfilled. Be fair, be fair. Yeah. It's, it's not saying that the prophecy might be fulfilled. No, he says that might be the word of the prophet be fulfilled. Yeah, but there's points on which it's pointing that prophecy might be fulfilled Brother. explicitly when it's, it's actually talking about prophecy and so it's not talking about prophecy. Okay, which there's, word of the prophecy to be fulfilled? There's a crossover between the New and Old Testament, right? That's a part of crossover. The same way as the crossover between Jesus and Joseph. But crossover, you don't think out of context. He was betrayed by his brothers for 11 Brother, you open a gate for him, he's just going to go off. Brother, crossover, no, don't take out of context. I'm point of what I'm saying. But I know what I'm saying, my point here. He says clearly in Matthew that yeah, in order, disagree, in order to fulfill the, the the word of the Lord that the prophet spoke, with out of Egypt, I took my son. That has nothing to, to be fulfilled. That word, that what God said there in Hosea, is speaking completely about what has, has nothing to do with Jesus. So why Matthew is using it for Jesus, claiming that is a prophecy being fulfilled? That's what it means for the word of the prophet to be fulfilled. What it means? Be fair, be fair. Be prophecy. So anyway, may Allah guide you. Anyway. May Allah guide you. Take care, Lord, man. I'm going to go, inshallah, man. Take care. Yeah, take care, Khwa.